is interesting to me because it feels like that's what she's doing. She's yeah. wielding the world, right? Yeah. She's got all these things. She's not throwing words around. Maybe that would be the reprint. Yeah. In some ways, I mean, words make society go around, right? Without words. You're getting too deep. You're getting too deep right <laughs> now, right? <laughs> it's true. It is true. Words are what make the world go around. However, I don't think that words are what make big monsters fight by your side. <laughs> Maybe I I in combination with some kind of voodoo magic. Uh huh. You know? Um, but we'll see. In any okay. case, it looks like the RuneCraft deck did get banned. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be mid shadow, I assume. And then the Tempo Haven list. Yep. Tempo Haven, possibly. And then DFC Lover, of course, with his. his. I, I mean, still, I, I feel like his decks are, are the freshest. They've got the nice tech cards in them. They're not just standard. Mm. They've got the Mr. Full Moons and things like that. We just yeah. didn't see them work to their fullest extent in his last matchup. Uh, but I think this is going to be a tough matchup for Ozzy. I want to see him at land. Yeah. The freshest decks. The freshest decks. The cleanest clothes. <laughs> Nobody would say anything about him. That's right. Plus, like, who's going to challenge him in take two, right? Yeah. I, I don't want to challenge him yeah. in take two. Nope. And shine. All right. So we're getting into it. So far, Auto Aim is playing mid shadow, as it as it were. Yeah. Only one skeleton to Catacomb, though. Yeah. Also, very interesting choice. Uh, I, I like that they bring up Angel of the Ward here because uh, I kind of want to talk about this card. A mm. card that's being left out of a lot of decks right now. And yes. I feel like it's one of the most valuable cards you can be playing. I mean, right alongside of things like Bellinus or, you know, we talk about how good that card is, mm -hmm. Lyriel. Angel of the Ward fits that mold, too. It's also a neutral card you can be playing in your neutral decks, but not everybody's playing very many copies of that card. Yeah. I definitely think this is a turn to kind of run over the skeletons, especially knowing for our side that there is a, another Prince Catacomb waiting in hand. Mm -hmm. And that's going to help kind of figure out the Skeleton Prince turn, right? Because now there's not a absolutely disgusting amount of Skeletons that will be Prince Catacombed. Mm -hmm. Still not a bad board at mm -hmm. all, followed up by a Skeleton Prince, or as Rainy likes to call him, Skeleton Guy, or would you call him? <laughs> the Prince Guy. The Prince Guy, that's the right, Prince the Prince Guy. <laughs> I like this, Bellness is flexing. And bop. Goodbye. I say hello, you say goodbye. That's good what? stuff. And now, I mean, again, best play here probably being Hector. It looks like DFC Lover is going to go for it. Not like our other players who like to hold that card for and, and not play it and then lose. Yeah. I, really, I mean, this is a strong game plan coming from Auto Wayne. But the way that DFC Lover is playing, respecting everything and just throwing a lot of resources to keep this under control is mm -hmm. especially good because Auto Aim has not hit into a Andrew Alphys or anything yep. like that. No, Andrew Alphys does not have an Ektar waiting the wings yet. He yep. does have a Demon Eater, though, so that can draw him into some options. He'll probably employ that this turn. Um, Very nice. Interesting. Using the Soul Squasher before turn 7, maybe just because he doesn't have the Ektar, he doesn't, wanna, he doesn't even want to worry about it right now. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, so he's got some some engine that can that can go. Yeah. Would you demon eater the demon eater or would you? Do I think that you have to save skeleton? it. I think you have to save the demon eater for some sort of a combo here, mm, possibly with, with the lurching, lurching corpse. corpse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh <gosh. laughs> Every time. Oh no. Every time these neutral forest craft players are getting the draws today. Do you use your last evolution orb? Okay. I think yeah. you have to, right? So, damage on board. Oh, one, shit. two, three, four, five. That's Six, awesome. Seven. That's an awesome play too. Nine. Yeah, you you can you can remove it if you play a fall rain evolve. Okay, yeah, well now you can remove it. Definitely can. But again, that's a lot of resources. A lot of resources. Okay, gonna go for the skeleton prince, which means the evolve. Yep. Evolve on the three one. Get the job done. Gosh, still has to throw in every single other follower. <laughs> Yeah, and if this does go late, I mean, Bahamut's and Zeus's are still just as good against Shadow as they've always mm. been. You know what I mean? I'd like everybody to observe the most beautiful Elf Queen waiting on the sidelines. As this game drags on, you know, once we get to that final turn where it's just Asia. I don't even think he's going to wait on it. I think he's just going to plop it down right now. It heals him to full. It gives him It gives him a board presence. Wow, no. He's going to wait on it. Okay. Wants, okay. To get, wants to get bigger gains off of it. Yeah. Elf Queen just sitting sitting on the sidelines, pumping iron. Yeah, yeah pumping getting stronger. Iron, getting ready. Yeah. yeah. Has the P90X going. <laughs> That's a throwback. <laughs> yeah, where did that go? Uh, 
where where it deserves to go in the, in, in the garbage can. <laughs> in the garbage. Ooh, interesting. Now, no evolution orbs, no ETA. Not at all. Oh. Pretty good, but no Isterfill to go along with it. Yeah. It's 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 a tough life. Yeah. And honestly speaking, the longer the games go, and we've seen this with Elf Queen in the past, I really feel like the turn seven Elf Queen was still the proper play. Mm. Reason I say this is because the longer the game goes and the harder these boards get to deal with, a lot harder it's going to be to actually play that card. Yes, yeah. you might heal back to full, but if you're facing down a full board that could be yeah. Ektard the following turn, it still might not be enough. Some way you need to buy time to Bahamut and then Elf Queen, but the hand, there's a lot of card draw in the hand of auto yeah. aim. Fortunately for DFC Lover, I mean, there's a lot of card draw in the hand of auto aim, but not a lot of stuff. Yeah. Not a lot of good stuff. Three pure hearted singers in mid range Shadowcraft, too. Auto aim really likes to draw cards. He understands that not drawing cards in this deck is very bad. Yeah. Oh! Okay, Found so it. next turn is, is going to be very dangerous. I mean, this is going to cause him to swing swing for face. That's going to allow Israfil to at least remove a zombie. And then Elf Queen comes down, and that's going to give you basically... Sahakwell, yeah. We, we've been right. kind of interchanging Sahakwell. with that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah Sahakwell being in play, can trade with something, and then, yeah, Elf Queen can come down. But again, this is the board state that I'm talking about. Elf Queen coming down to heal five earlier might have been a little bit easier to swallow mm. than playing it now Get to heal six, for seven. Six as well. Because you yeah. don't have an Evolution Orb to take care of any of this board. Is that the way? <laughs> We're going to have to see. We're memeing out today. It was a good day. <laughs> memeing out on the last day of the open <laughs> qualifiers. Best day to do it. Oh, man. Let me get some clicks in chat. <laughs> oh, God. No, please. I'm yeah. sorry. And 8-8 eight, eight is not enough. So now that Elf Queen doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. Had he gained 5 earlier, it would have mattered. And had a, th a bigger threat in play mm -hmm. to be trading with this board. Yeah, Hector's going to come down and close this out. Very nicely done from Auto Aim. I wonder if DFC Lover, I mean, certainly the Elf Queen turn would be something to consider. Getting the early stats on board, having the Evolution Orb. This head can be taken. You have to play these later turns very carefully, right? You have to, especially when you don't have something like an Israfil to, like, gain you the defense back and mm. do something or have the, the combo with the Sockwell, something like that. Every threat just has to be played. The longer the game goes, it's it's kind of weird because it doesn't feel that way, way, mm. way right? Like, you're playing Elf Queen, you're like, I want to maximize its value. How do I gain the most amount of defense with this card? Mm. Realistically, though, even if you're gaining more later in the game, you're allowing more damage through because your opponent's board is possibly mm -hmm. bigger. So the earlier you can get it down with any value, I feel like, is better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it certainly seemed that way in this in this last game that we just watched. And wait it a minute, really I didn't notice this earlier, but Auto Aim has a disaster tag on now. Did he get yeah. picked up finally? I, I don't know. I mean, it, I, my understanding of Auto Aim was that he's just always kind of in every single team helping everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe he's finally staked claim in Disaster. You know what? I, it, I, I don't know if there's a better home for him. Yeah. Disaster is the team, and Auto Aim has probably been playtesting with them the most. Yeah. Where's the press release? That's right. Where's the press release, Auto yeah. Aim? Let us Where's know the these conference? things. Where's the conference? Where's the interview? That's right. I'll try to get one of those. Like, go oh, auto aim. Spill it. Spill the beats <laughs> for the people. Let's go. They want to know. Yeah. Tell us. So it looks. this looks a little different than his previous list. He's still playing the Beastly Vow, but he's got March Hare's Tea Time in here. I don't believe March Hare's Tea Time was in his last list. Mm. It might have been. Gemstone Carapace. But he's still going with the Beastly Vow stuff. So still yeah. trying to tempo. It'll work out very nicely. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect deck to do it against, too. If you can get a big board against neutral forest uh, fast enough, I mean, mm -hmm. it's really hard to deal with. Of course, Elf Twins Assault has been drawn pretty much every <laughs> game for our neutral forest craft players, so this able to deal with these boards. pretty fortunate. There are times where you do not see that card. Yeah. The, I, feel like, I feel like that's the one thing that I always had a problem with neutral forest in the past. Not so much anymore because I feel like it's a, it's a lot more fair in the current environment mm. um but if you if you did not draw elf twins assault in the previous formats you just lost the game mm. you didn't have any way to actually come back in the mid game i feel like it's a little less so that now but it's still in certain matchups like this very important to draw that card mm. brambles gonna allow you to play fairies play the carrot mm. whatever you want to do 
You do you. That's right. What of Brambles is kind of an interesting card choice in this deck list, too. I mean, it does mm. keep your hand size high. It does give you threats to play early. It's just not the same because everything else in your hand costs a million. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go for the value. I like it. I feel like he's, he's going to trade here. Yep. It's a really nice trade, too. Go uh, to Brambles. Yep. <laughs> However, Auto has got really nice cards against wide boards here. He's got the March Hare's Tea Time, of course. He's got the Light John coming down in a few turns if he needs it. Yeah, Light John will be very, very big. And it's really thinking about this scenario again, right? Like, every evolution orb you use is making your late game harder and harder and harder. That's right, because if you cannot deal with a Beauty and the Beast, it can just beat you. We've seen it before. I'm sure we'll see it again. So this is cool. The Hector can ping the March Hares, and then the Pig gets a free swing mm -hmm. into it. Well, the Hector over one of these other three fives here, if you want to. Okay. They don't like playing Hector, man. Yeah, they like saving him. Again, uh, well, okay. This sets up a really nice Elf Twins Assault turn. Definitely no problem with this. Yeah, that brambles. Is yeah, that did a lot of work. Yeah, this game. I say it's kind of weird, but this game it looked like an all star. So definitely okay. not a bad card. What is this gonna pull? Ancient lion spirit. Lion spirit. Yep. Clear out the board. Okay, evolution orbs are gone. That's it. Auto aim says that. That's all, folks. And this is where the top deck beauty and the beast happens. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hello. Ooh, nope. Not this time. Ugh. But still a good enough play to wipe out this entire board. Last evolution orb there for DFC Lover as well. Now he has an airbound barrage, which will be very nice. I feel like the follow-up to play to this. I mean, now Auto Aim could go for the Star Chaser here to draw a card. I feel like Light John's a fine option too to get that Hector off the table. I do think you probably want to be careful with six damage. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he's got the Hourglass. I see. Hourglass can also deal with Hector here. Yep. Got the Time Owl. Hmm? I'm sorry. I, yeah, there needs to be more Owl cards in this mm. game. I feel like Owls are the best. We've got Strix. Yeah. We've got Magic Owl. We've got Hourglass. There needs to be more. I want more Owls. Okay, now the Hector is employed, and it is uncontested. Yeah, and I feel like Auto Aim's deck is very powerful, but when it gets to this far into the game against a controlling type of deck, it's very hard because you're going to start top decking these amulets like we see now with Beastly Vow, things like that. Mm. Can't really do too much with them at this point. Yeah, you can Sahak Will if you want. And the Aaron can replenish an Evolution Orb, which again, like you mentioned, kind of reactivates the Elf Queen as a thing that you can do. Look at that play. Nice. That's gross. Nice. Sockwell bounce Sockwell with a Zeus in hand. Yeesh. Nice. That's not a play you can do with any other deck at the moment. That is crazy cool. And I believe that's a one of Airbound Barrage too. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is correct. I, I don't think we've seen that interaction at all. Mm. That was the first time, but it's super cool. Gets the storm on the heavenly night and goes for board control. Mm -hmm. Auto aim playing scared now. Scary position to be in. You're going into the 9 10 play point territory against a deck that has way more options than you do. Yeah. I imagine auto aim is playing a singleton uh, Aegis in the deck, but because he used his Aether a little bit earlier, does not have it to pull out his Aegis now. Mm -hmm. Nice. Justice can never and. Everything is just still being safeguarded by the fact that the Elf Queen Ooh. is waiting. Oh, is, is he going to pull you gets off of this? He uh, just oh, wow, I guess. Yeah, no, it's still well. Playing this first, just get the extra defense on it. Yeah. Aegis, 3, 2, 1. Oh, there it is. boy. The top decks are real. I like it. This oh, puts man. auto aim right back into the driver's seat of this game. So it's up to how much storm he can find. 
And that Heavenly Knight was a huge. That made Zeus not go face for that one specific yeah. turn. Allowed Would have allowed this carrot to essentially drop auto aim into territory for the actual play of Zeus to win the game. Yeah. Maybe this, this is actually a go wide turn. You know, you play something like the Aaron. You play the Happy Pig. Yeah. Aaron, Happy Pig. I mean, again, you're losing a lot of heal if you do it that way. I mean, you do have yeah. the Elf Queen to stop. Like, So Elf Queen's actually surprisingly good against the Aegis decks because it, it is a card you can just do to stop them from mm -hmm. lethaling you on a single turn. They don't have the Ektars and things like that. He needs to find some way to get a board settled so he can do that on top of a Zeus. Yep. It's going to be rough, though. The Aegis, I mean, can play defensively for pretty much the rest of this game while allowing the other ones to chip away until the Aegis is enough to just... Demand, you know, command the final blow. Looks like he's going with the Zeus immediately, though. Face, face. Yep. Yep. Deal with me, he says. Now, this does allow, if for whatever reason, and I don't think it's going to be possible, that that carrot does remain alive, the Aaron can come down to evolve it mm. and win the game. But I don't think Auto is going to allow that to stay in play. Is he trying to swing with the... Aegis? No. Okay. No. Thank goodness. It's getting, just getting value here. And then setting up the Heavenly Knight here just to protect against possibly another Zeus or another Storm Follower I think is pretty strong. He might play the March Hare's Tea Time just to give it Storm, but I don't think that's too necessary. Mm, I would probably just go with the Heavenly Knight. It's just the safest play. Now, again, that could be not safe if your opponent has a Bahamut, though. So a lot of things you have to be thinking about if you're auto-aim right now. This is this is a pivotal turn for him. All right, makes the call to play the knight. Top deck. Top. Oh! Is there... Uh, Not crazy good right now. Not crazy good at all. And he really doesn't want to use that fall from grace because he built up this entire pressure game. Doesn't want to give it away, but he might have to utilize that just so he doesn't lose the game. Right now he's staring down, what, 12 plus 3, 15 damage. Okay, so he's not in lethal range at the moment. Yeah, but it's so... Dangerous. Yeah, yeah Sahakul doesn't do anything here. This is a rough turn. His cards just don't do anything. I mean, he can play the Aaron and evolve it. And just pass? That's That feels super bad. If you play the Aaron... You pass, then you have the Elf Queen evolve on the next turn. Yeah. It's it's just really rough to get around this Heavenly Knight. That card's so big. You can play the Aaron and the Happy Pig. Yeah. And you pass. Can, you can develop the Happy Pig. Yeah, I just feel like DFC Lover is definitely against the ropes here, and he's going to take his time, folks. This is his this is his inner out match. Right? Yeah. If he has to win this so that he can continue on, if he loses his game, he's out of the tournament. So. Their names will evolve. Take his time with choices. Yep. It's a lot of overheal. It's rough, but I think I think what he's feeling is he just needs the stats in play so he can contest mm -hmm. the board better. Unfortunately for him, there's a light John in hand that's just going to deal with this. Oh, man. And Beacon that's, of Salvation. Yeah. Gets the healing. Got the swing for 8, 3, 4. Yep. And this is, this is, this is it. I don't know mm -hmm. if the DFC lover has to draw Bahamut just to contest the board, but that's still not going to be good enough against the Aegis. Yep. That's it. That is it. Auto Aim is going to shut the door against DFC lover. I don't know if there's very much you can draw, and there it is. DFC Lover is going to tap out, and that means Auto Way moves on. Now, I don't know how many points DFC Lover has now. I don't think he was on that list of the top 10. He's close if he's, he's not. He's very, very close. I mean, he has won one. He might still make it. Yeah. He might still there make it. There is a it. chance. He's gotten DFC pretty Lover. far into the yeah, tournament. There is a chance. So. But again, oh. I, I just want to.